Hi, this is Jess. You're watching DITV, and I am here with Tracy McGee, Experiential and Marketing Manager with Ford. Tracy, thank you so much for being with me today. Thank you for having me. All right, we are so excited here at Destination Imagination that Ford is partnering with us. Tell us a little bit about uh, the background of that relationship and how we got together. Yeah, it's been an amazing you know, whirlwind of a journey, really. Um, for over 30 years, though, Ford's been encouraging students to be knowledgeable, seek knowledge, be creative, problem solve, and, and like Henry Ford, really try to make the world a better place. And so when we started to learn about Destination Imagination's um, goals of creating these you know, creative problem solvers and these multiple skill sets, we really felt there's a lot of synergy between our objectives. Um, and then when we heard about the impact you guys have, over 150,000 students in 48 states, it just was like, wow, we have to find ways to collaborate with you. So we're really excited about those early discussions now leading to us being here at Global Finance this amazing event and some of the other activities we have planned for the weekend we're really excited to be partnered so you've been here at global finals for a couple days now you know what it's all about why do you think it's so important for Ford to be at an event like this, and what makes you excited to be here? Yeah, well, being the innovation technology sponsor has been great. It really allows us to show the innovative mindset and spirit of Ford Motor Company to the students and their families. Um, and just getting involved in the excitement and the energy has been amazing. And what we try to do is really make sure that we're enhancing the experience of the students and giving them other opportunities to learn and, and challenge themselves. So through our activations like the Escape the Garage, which is a live action, you know, STEM-based uh, creative process solving, um, and as well as, as you can see, some of our teams just escaped the garage. <laughs> They're very excited about that. <laughs> Um, through the workshops that we'll be hosting this week and especially through the Tri DI this Saturday, we're really excited to have so many facets of being here in the community. And it really gives us a chance to connect our Ford employees to the students and the community at large to really understand what we're doing and how important um, STEM education is to us as well. Great. So these kids are special. They're different. Let's talk a little bit about the skills that you think kids learn through Destination Imagination that maybe they're not getting in a normal classroom setting. And what are these skills going to do for them as they move into the workplace? When they apply for a job at Ford, what's going to make them a great candidate? DI is such an amazing program to really take the core subjects that students are learning in school, but to give them this hands-on, creative, problem-solving way to really reinforce those, I think does amazing things for the students. First of all, it definitely teaches them other skills that are critical, like flexibility and creative problem-solving, innovation, collaborating, you know, listening to others' ideas, and those are all critical skills for working at a company like Ford Motor Company. You know, we really need creative, innovative people that can work in a group to solve technical challenges, and DI sets them up you know, really well to do that. I also think an important element is the fact that they keep students interested in these studies. You know, there's a lot of statistics out there that just show students are not staying with STEM education and STEAM education, and so the fact that DI shows them in a real fun, collaborative environment what these studies can do, I think really helps to keep them engaged in, in, in the high demand workforce that we have. And we also have um, quite a few Ford employees that are DI alum or, or parent coaches. And so we already know that DI students do a great job for our company. Great. What do you think it is, and you touched a little bit on the, the STEAM and the STEM education, what do you think it is about those project-based type learning environments that, mm -hmm. that really gets kids into something in a, in a little bit of a different way. Yeah, I think the project-based is the, is the key. As we talked about, you know, the fact that they do have curriculum and classroom settings for learning some of the core skills, but there's only so much time in that setting to really teach some of the more or you know, equally important skills around persistence and problem solving. Um, and the design thinking mentality that comes from these hands-on experiences where you really have to sit and think about the problem and find a solution I mean that's that's real world so these kids are learning skills that are going to translate you know extremely well from the classroom to college to the workplace of all of these stem and steam based organizations out there and we know there are a lot what was it that made Ford want to partner with Destination Imagination and the Henry Ford Institute of Learning? What, what set this program and these programs apart? Sure. Yeah, well, the alignment and synergies between our goals, between Ford, Destination Imagination, and Henry Ford Learning Institute are just amazing. Um, you know, Henry Ford Learning Institute is here with us to conduct our, our workshops during this partnership, and, you know, they 
they design and implement um, programs that really help people to think creatively and think innovatively, which is exactly what DI is doing, which is exactly what Ford wants to do through all of our STEM and STEAM initiatives. So I think we couldn't find a better you know, partnership of all of the bringing these visions together and having the actual impact and the scale um, that DI has to really make this happen. All right, so we saw these kids get really excited behind us here a little bit ago. Give us a little bit more background on what the Escape the Garage event is here, and then we also have the Tri-DI uh, challenge tomorrow morning. Um, tell us about these great experiences that Ford is, is helping to provide for the students here at Global Finals. Yeah, we're really excited, because as I was saying before, we like to go beyond just a brought to you by Ford. You know, we really want to be part of the experience and enhance the experience. So in our Escape the Garage, there's a scenario where a, a Ford engineer has been working in her garage, she brings some some students in for a sneak preview of her engineering and gets locked out. So then the students have to find the clues to get their way out. So it really, there's you know true clues, there's decoy clues, there's different levels we have been setting it at between a beginner, intermediate, and advanced. So to really challenge these students, um, and it's been fun to see. I mean, some of them come in with a total game plan and you can just watch them think and others are just winging it, but I think they're really applying their learnings um, to this event. And so again, just giving them another chance to learn and creatively think um, it, it, it's key to us to be an integral part of the partnership. And then try DI tomorrow, we're really excited about as well. It's the first time, you know, DI has done an event in public facing here at Knoxville, and we think it's going to be a great opportunity to bring the excitement and some of the experiences of that hands-on problem solving through the Ford of the Future activity tomorrow to the Knoxville residents. Uh, so in that scenario, people will get 10, um, 30 minutes to actually learn about some Ford innovations, learn about some vehicle systems, and then design a innovate or make an innovation around one of those vehicle systems. Um, they'll prototype it and then they'll present it to a panel of uh, experts, including some Ford employees that are DI alum and DI associated. So, um, you know, we just thought it was a great idea to make the event more accessible to the public. Uh, you know, really Ford Motor Company has always been about making great vehicles and technologies accessible. So I think, again, it's just another way in which there's a lot of synergies between what DI is trying to do and what Ford tries to do as well. That's awesome. Tracy, thank you so much for being with here with us here today, and thanks for being a partner with DI here at Global Finals. Appreciate it. Thank you.